Is it impossible to escape Earth using anything other than a rocket engine? There are ways to escape Earth other than rocket engines. Here are some methods. 1. Achieving escape velocity, 11.2 km per second. The most common method involves using rocket engines to attain a speed of 11.2 km per second, which allows an object to overcome Earth's gravitational pull and escape into space. 2. Orbital flight. Orbital flight involves orbiting the Earth within its gravitational field. While not completely escaping Earth's gravity, this method allows objects to remain in orbit without falling back to the surface. 3. Gravitational assist. By utilizing the gravitational pull of other celestial bodies, such as planets or moons, one can navigate through space without relying solely on rocket propulsion. This method involves entering the gravitational field of another celestial body and using its gravity to alter the spacecraft's trajectory. 4. Superconductor-based methods. Utilizing superconducting materials, which exhibit zero resistance to electrical current, provides an alternative means for space travel. By exploiting the superconducting properties, spacecraft could potentially achieve the necessary velocity for space escape without relying on traditional rocket engines. It's important to note that while these concepts exist, they are not yet practical or widely implemented. Advancements in technology may, however, lead to the realization of these methods in the future. Satellites and rockets require large first-stage propellants and are either discarded or recycled like SpaceX. Wouldn't it be possible to launch very large objects, including massive propellants, into space without damage? Launching large objects, including massive propulsion systems, into space without damage is currently impossible using existing technologies. Rocket launches require tremendous force to overcome Earth's gravity, and this force is generated by the combustion of fuel and oxidizer in the rocket's propulsion system. Large propulsion systems require substantial amounts of fuel and oxidizer, leading to the expulsion of a significant volume of gases during launch. These gases can potentially damage the structural integrity of the rocket and even cause its disintegration. Considering that larger objects are more susceptible to damage from the impact of these gases, launching large objects into space without damage necessitates the development of new launch technologies. One emerging technology in development is the superconductor-based rocket. Superconductors are materials that exhibit zero resistance to electrical current. Utilizing superconductors allows rockets to generate high thrust with significantly less fuel consumption compared to traditional rockets. This could reduce the volume of gas expelled during launch, potentially minimizing the risk of structural damage to large objects. Another approach is space docking, a technique where two spacecraft are connected in space. Large propulsion systems and massive objects can be separately launched into space and then connected in orbit to form a single spacecraft. While space docking may be costlier than traditional launches, the ability to reuse large propulsion systems can lead to cost savings. Additionally, launching large and small components separately can help mitigate the impact of gases on the structural integrity of the payload. As these new launch technologies continue to be developed, there is optimism that launching large objects, including massive propulsion systems, into space without damage will become a feasible endeavor in the future. What kind of movement does a superconducting material do in outer space without the influence of gravity? In the absence of gravity in outer space, superconducting materials would exhibit the following movements. Motion due to magnetism. Superconducting materials generate a magnetic field when a current flows through them. This magnetic field exists only on the surface of the superconducting material, with no field inside. Consequently, the material would move in response to the magnetic field. Rotation due to magnetic forces. Superconducting materials possess a property known as superconducting magnetomechanics, causing them to rotate in response to an external magnetic field. Force interaction with magnetic fields. Superconducting materials experience forces when placed in a magnetic field, a phenomenon referred to as superconducting magnetophoresis. This force can cause the material to be pushed or pulled by the magnetic field. For a specific example, if a superconducting material is brought close to a magnet, it would be attracted towards the magnet due to the magnetic field generated on its surface. 
Placing the superconducting material on the rotational axis of the magnet would result in the material rotating along with the magnet. Additionally, positioning the superconducting material across a magnetic field would subject it to forces, causing it to be pushed or pulled by the magnetic field. These movements of superconducting materials could have various applications in outer space. For instance, they could be utilized in the development of spacecraft propulsion systems or devices for controlling the position of objects in space.